Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this makeup look. It's a really cool makeup look with a bunch of different colors placed in weird areas, but I really do like it. So if you wanna see how I did this tutorial or what products I used, just keep watching. But before I go, I want to remind you if you like this video or my channel, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. That just allows you to see every time I post a new video. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, welcome back. First off, if you hear any noise in the background, it's my washer. I'm doing laundry and I'm trying to film while I'm doing laundry. So if you hear any noise, that's what it is. Also, I'm filming in front of my kitchen window, so weird little thing going on here. I also have some tea behind me if you see that. Uh, just wanted to address those things. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is go in with foundation, and for today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. To do the applying, I'm going to use a little flat brush. I don't know what the heck this is called, so any little flat brush will work. Foundation is on for concealer today. I'm going to be using two different concealers. First one is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Active Propolis Concealer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dot that in my problem areas. And I'm just gonna blend this concealer in with the same brush I used for the foundation. All right, so we have the concealer on. I actually only ended up using one concealer, which was the Active Propolis Concealer. After that, I did go ahead and powder with the Ciate powder. I'm still trying it out. I had received this little a bottle of it in my Ipsy Glam bag. It's called the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. So still trying it out. We will see what happens, but so far I do think I like it. Um, and I went ahead and applied it under my eyes and in my T-zone. Next I'm going to bronze and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. bronzer palette, which I've used in a lot of previous videos. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. I'm done bronzing my face, but before I finish the face, I'm actually going to go in with a tiny bit on a blending brush, just any little blending brush, and I'm going to contour my nose a tiny, tiny bit. To be quite honest, if I'm being honest here, I really don't know how to contour my nose. So I just throw some shadow on that shit and call it a day. One thing I am noticing with the powder is that it's leaving my skin looking pretty textured, especially in this area here, like right here on either side of my nose. Um, I do have dry skin, but it definitely is um, like settling or sticking to my skin. Anyway, next I'm going to go ahead and apply blush. For blush, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I'm going to pick up Ginger Binge on a brush. You can use any brush you'd like. This is just like a 113 from BH Cosmetics because I don't know what the heck kind of brush this is. Anyway, I'm going to pick it up on there and dab it on my cheeks. This blush is so pigmented. so. You only need a little, little dollop. All right, so we are done with blush. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. All right, we have our brows on. I don't really think they're even, but whatever. Um, next thing is I also just made them like pretty sporadic, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go in and do our eyeshadow now. I'm going to be using the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas eyeshadow palette. I haven't used this palette since it came out, which was like last October of 2017. So it has been quite a while since I've touched this palette. 
to prime my eyes I went ahead and used my concealer to set that I went into the palette and used the shade Okie Dokie which is like a bone white shade Next, I'm going to go in with some transition and I'm going to be using Balm Diggity for that and just picking it up on a blending brush. Um, for this color, I'm not going to be too precise, so I am going to pick it up in a uh, larger blending brush and just buff that all over the eyes. This eyeshadow palette is quite pigmented, so you really do not need a lot of shadow and I'm just going to go ahead and start working that into the crease. Now that that shade is laid down, I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and pick up the shade uh, Kooky. And I'm just going to be blending that straight into the eye. I'm gonna start at the outer corner first. And I'm going in with only a little bit of product because I really want to be able to blend this out well. Um, trust me, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I would say uh, I'm at like a level five with eyeshadow. I'm not the best. I'm not the worst. I'm just mediocre. Um, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is like a smaller dome shaped brush and I'm gonna go into the shade out the other, which is, um, it looks like a hybrid of a matte and a shimmer. I'm gonna pick up the smallest amount of this because like I said, everything in this palette is very pigmented. And I'm going to take this shade and just kind of tap it here into the outer corner before I blend it out. Now that we have the shadow down and blended out, as blended as I feel like we're going to get it for now, I'm going to go in with a shimmery shade. First thing I'm going to do is go in with this shimmery shade called Scatterbrain. I'm going to pick it up on a small brush. I'm not going to be too precise with this shade, but what I wanna do, which is gonna be a little strange, is I want to actually run this right here where I uh, had that cranberry shade meet my nose. I'm gonna run it right here on top of that cranberry shade. And then I'm also gonna go in and apply it in my inner corner as well. If you have some fallout, which I do, I'm just gonna take a powder brush and kind of just lightly sweep that away. We're not done with the eyes. We are still going to work on the bottom lid and just put something in the center of the lid. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same eyeshadow over here and I'll be right back. All right, so I did the other eye off camera. I matched it as best as I could. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away some of the fallout that's on my under eye. We are going to work on the under eye now, but I still wanna wipe away any fallout, so we start clean. Um, I'm gonna be taking this same little brush that I put the gold on, and I am going to be applying some gold just on the bottom part of my inner corner, so like right here. I'm just gonna be smudging some of that gold there. All right, so now we are going to use the same brush and I'm actually going to pick up a shimmery shade, um, this shimmery shade here. I'm gonna do in one ear, pick that up on my brush and um, I'm just going to be using this shade on the lower lash line as well as on the lid here after so I'm just gonna smudge this here on the lower lash line I'm actually gonna go in with another tan shade for the lid instead of the cranberry because why not uh, we will just add some dimension onto the eye so I'm gonna go in with the shade redonkulous here it's a darker brown color it's still a shimmer it's very very shimmery so I'm picking up a good amount of that and then tapping off the excess. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that here on the eyelid. And so I think that's it for the eyeshadow. 
to highlight my face, I'm gonna be going in with this little highlighter that I have. It's from Urban Decay. It came like this in an Ipsy Glam bag quite a long time ago, and I'm just gonna pick some up on my finger and highlight the, the uh, bridge of my nose. And then my Cupid's bow, we are going to apply lip gloss later, but um, I just like the way the highlighter looks over that area. And then of course we are going to highlight our face. To do that, I'm just gonna pick the highlighter up on this powder brush I was using. This is quite a large brush for highlighter, but you can never have too much, so why not? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that where it needs to be. All right, so once that is done and we have everything highlighted, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply loads of mascara. My favorite mascara is the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think this is by, yeah, L'Oreal. So I'm just gonna take this and apply my lashes and then we will do some lip gloss and we will be all set. All right, mascara is done. We're gonna go ahead and apply some lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm going to be using is the Dirty Little Secret Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Nude Beach. I love this lip gloss. It's like a um, soft pink with gold and green reflex in it, and it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I'm not gonna be using a lip liner just because I feel like the eyes are quite uh, large, so I just want to keep this very minimal. 